before I start my rant, I want to take the time to congratulate uh, my friend Isles, Girl 3, on the, the win last night. It was a good game. Both teams wanted it. The game could have went either way, but yeah, I'm not going to be mad about the, about the loss because the Islanders had to do what they had to do to get a win, and um, I respect that. I really do. I want to show my respect to the Islanders and the Islanders fans. Congratulations, Isles Girl 3. That was a good performance. Our teams might not be doing too well, but I gotta say, both our teams stole the show last night. One of the best games I've ever watched. I gotta say, Flyers Islanders games are the most fun. Are the most fun to watch. And what a, what a game! I mean, Ramon Moff was good. Carter Hart was good. That was a very competitive game. And my hat, my, my hat goes off to uh, the Islanders. Uh, great performance last night. Flyers played a, um, a lot better than they have been playing. Um, but I got something to say. Comcast sucks. Comcast sucks. They don't know how to run a hockey team. They're good with their cable on their internet, but they cannot run a hockey team right. That's all I gotta say. Um, Flyers right now, they don't look like a team that's gonna make the finals. They don't. The impending thought of Claude Giroux not being with the Flyers next year, that really, really depresses me. That really stresses Stresses me out. But honestly, I'd like to see Giroux be on a team where he can win. Right now, Giroux's been with this team for 12 years. And he has never won a Stanley Cup. So, in my opinion, there's nothing here. For Claude Giroux. So I think he may part ways with the Flyers. And here's why. The organization is a hellhole right now. And if I was Giroux, I would get out of that hellhole. And you know, you and the Flyers don't make the playoffs. I really hope. Some underdog makes the playoffs. And that underdog is the Islanders. Because to tell you the truth, I really enjoy seeing the Islanders beat the Penguins. I really enjoy seeing the Islanders beat the Bruins because I can't stand those teams. And the thing about the Islanders beating the Flyers. I know the Flyers are an underdog team as well. I'm the resort too. But either way, if the Flyers don't do it, I like to see the Islanders do it. Because to tell you the truth, I love a good underdog story. And I like seeing the underdog succeed. I like seeing that. I always like those movies where the underdog perseveres and wins. So, at least one underdog has a shot. And I'm happy about that. But this fire scene has been so depressing. And to tell you the truth, I can't wait for it to end. I really can't. Because this season has been nothing but 
with emotional pain and emotional torture. And enough is enough. And I'm not mad that we lost that game. Happy and my team at least showed some effort last night. And of course the shootout had to ruin that, but what are you gonna do? At least at least one underdog won last night. But as for Comcast, I'm sick and tired of Comcast. They they have done nothing but run this orga this large organization into the ground. Ed Snyder gave us paradise. Comcast gave us hell. Comcast paid paradise and they put up a park of mine. Right after Ed Snyder passed. There has to be somebody out there that wants to buy this team. Somebody honest. Somebody decent. Somebody who doesn't just Somebody who doesn't care about making mud. Somebody who isn't greedy. If there's anybody out there that wants to own this team, please, if you're an honest, decent person who sticks up for the little guy, then I suggest that you buy this team from Comcast. Do it now. Do it now. Because we are tired of living and through hell. Every night is hell. And we need to find that heaven again. In 2010, I remember that year. I was so happy. Nobody expected the Philadelphia Flyers. To make the Stanley Cup Finals. Nobody expected that. And what did they do? They made it. And you know, it was one of the happiest moments of my life. For now, things, every now, for now everything about Flyers hockey sucks. But, you know what? Whatever happens, I'm still gonna be Timmy Farmer's wife. <coughs> when the season ends, I'm gonna try to find myself again. Try to find <coughs> that magic again. Try to find that. Try to find my mojo again. And when the season ends, I will be watching Reading Royals hockey, and I will be watching Wings Lacrosse. Because nothing's happening for this Flyers team. The Flyers right now, they're drowning. They're drowning in the water. And there's nothing we can do about it. But I will continue to complain about Comcast until something happens, until change happens. We want change, and we're not going to stop until we get it. Thank you.